Does body language prove Shane Dawson and Jeffrey Starr manipulated Tati to take down James Charles? Find out next. Welcome back to the channel, Shakers. Derek Van Shake here. Remember the massive beauty community drama last year between YouTubers James Charles and Tati? And how crazy that all got with millions unsubscribing from James Charles because of Tati's tell-all video against him? And if you recall, James Charles eventually put his makeup back on, defended himself, and gained all of his subscribers back last year. However, last year, many were speculating that this was not just a simple feud between James Charles and Tati, but it was secretly orchestrated by makeup rival YouTubers Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, who were releasing their conspiracy makeup palettes last year. And all that was possibly done to James Charles last year to take him down as he was skyrocketing in popularity. Since last year, Tati has made amends with James Charles, and Tati has now finally come forward to reveal who is actually behind it all. But is she truthful? Or is Shane Dawson the one that's truthful? Yes, Shane Dawson also responded in one of the most epic moments in internet history. He decided to go live on Instagram to watch for the first time and react to Tati's tell-all video about him. And if you're not familiar with what Shane Dawson has been going through right now, he recently posted an apology video. Here's a brief summary of it, along with some light evidence. I've done a lot of things that I hate. Deleting videos, untagging fear. The whole world hates me. Crying, hyperventilating, and then it'll go away. Punishment for people people added to a problem been punished play stereotypes black people asian people mexican sadness anger in the closet projecting blackface was something that i did a lot a lot on my channel there is no excuse for it being funny trying to be funny insane you're so funny you're so funny lol lol n-word playing a character in comedy my black friend was there leave me alone i'm not racist Mur fantasies like shocking insane gross offensive jokes a lot of anger pain issues with my family there be shock value child character birds and the bees talk thoughtless i can say whatever i want you need to be humbled yeah as you can tell shane dawson is facing another whole big issue i feel like i'm about to get on a roller coaster right now so we're gonna break down tati's and shane dawson's of body language along with the evidence to finally reveal the truth of who is actually behind attempting to tear down James Charles. Now, let's get started. None of my concerns became overwhelming until after I met Shane Dawson. Tati is reading from a prepared statement to make sure that she says everything she wants to say. Although that can cover up some deception, we can still read her body language and emotions as she goes through it and reacts to it. I did not make my video because of vitamins. I made it as a result of all of the poisonous lies that were fed to me by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Keep in mind, in body language, we look for clusters, not some random head shake, head nod, look away, or some random nose touch. We look for clusters to triangulate and zero in on how the subject is feeling. Looking at one gesture or movement someone makes and then assuming something of that person based on that is not reading body language. That's just being an idiot. James Charles's Sugar Bear Hair sponsorship and all of the drama that had kicked up afterwards, that was just my breaking point. But my guard was down from being heartbroken and I allowed myself to be worked by Shane, Jeffrey, and others. James, I am so sorry that I allowed myself to be poisoned and weaponized against you. I'm sorry that I bought into any of their lies. She's revealing that Shane and Jeffrey Star were behind all of what happened last year. Remember, when all this happened last year, Shane and Jeffrey Star certainly didn't come forward. Their involvement, according to Tati right now, was kept completely quiet. And everyone on the internet was led to believe that this was basically just just a feud between two friends. Now see what you think of the first time she tears up here and whether or not you think it was authentic. I should have tried harder to reach you over those concerns in person. And I'm sorry for giving up on you. Yes, it was authentic. Let's rewind it and break it down. I should have tried harder to reach you over those concerns in person. First, she's reading her statement as normal. Sin. Now her eyes shifted to read the next piece of the statement. What she just read sank in with feelings and emotions in that blank stare. Now she looks away out her window as the flashback happens, apparently remembering back to what she did to James. She's about to tear up. 
She closes her eyes and mouths yep, acknowledging her regrets and mistakes, and gives off a regretful closed lip asymmetric pullback on her cheek, all indicating disappointment in herself. And I'm sorry for giving up on you. And then when she finally says the words that she read, she says it with tearing up emotion and a very congruent head nod. Exactly what we would expect given what we just saw happen. The information they were giving me was terrifying. It's actually very difficult to believably fake cry. Because as we just saw, there's a lot of expected authentic emotion that we would expect to observe building up to the watery eyes. Fake criers aren't good at recreating that buildup of emotion on the spot that will lead to tears. So the sadness on their face will come quickly and go quickly, even if they're able to muster up glassy eyes or even a tear. James, I apologize for uploading that video. I should have known better than to fall for their lies and manipulation. He would frequently comment about how much dirt he held on other brand owners and members of our YouTube community. I believe that he actually held blackmail material on many people and was capable of destroying the entire community. We need to forget give the people that he is holding hostage with veiled threats of exposure. We need to be prepared to forgive them. Notice Tati's emotion now. And when I hit play, see what you think. Otherwise, this won't stop. Notice how wide her eyes are and the scared waver in her voice. When we're scared or feel we're in danger, our eyes will naturally widen to allow us to see as much as possible so we can escape danger. She's scared of what Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson may release on her and also possibly those close to her for coming forward on this. So prepare to not cancel everyone and give them a chance. It's not right. It is not right to try to trap people into saying things that they wouldn't otherwise say. It's not right. I was blind. I was so blind. And I don't want any part of it anymore. None. None. You can see the authentic buildup of emotion, right? We're not gonna break down every time she cries. Back in 2019, Jeffrey started talking a lot more crap about James Charles than usual. It seemed that doing so had become his biggest obsession. Things further escalated at my birthday. Every time James Charles' back was turned, Jeffrey would tell me that James Charles was out of control. And you did it at my birthday dinner. And I made excuses for you then. You were talking in detail about things you wanted to do to the waiter. I initially dismissed it as jealousy, because James Charles' career was on a rocket ship at the time. But as the weeks went by, every time I saw or spoke with Jeffrey, it seemed to me that James was all he wanted to talk about. Jeffrey began talking to me about how Shane Dawson was a big fan of mine and wanted to meet me. Eventually, Shane reached out to me. He wanted me to teach him all about makeup. All I knew at the time was that Shane Dawson was the most adored documentary filmmaker on YouTube. So I invited him over to my home to play with makeup and to get to know him. Now watch this clip from last year and see what you think. There was speculation when Shane Dawson came over to hang out with me, who I adore. That's right. The internet started to suspect that Shane Dawson had something to do with all of this when it first happened a year ago. But did you catch her defensive and slightly deceptive body language? Watch again. There was speculation when Shane Dawson came over to hang out with me, who I adore. Yes, she turns her body and her head slightly away, which is also defensive and deceptive body language, indicating Shane Dawson was somehow involved. And keep in mind, that was from last year. She said that last year. So she wanted to cover it up. She didn't want anyone to know that Shane or Jeffree Star were involved in anything that she was saying. Now listen to how she diverts away from the accusations that Shane Dawson was involved in all of what happened last year. And I just like, I can't help but think that James Charles felt like that was somehow like some sneaky thing that happened because his ego is so big that he will think that everything is about him. That's a very typical diversion. Have you ever heard anyone say something like that to you before? It's diverting away by going on the offensive 
with a negative claim. That was somehow like some sneaky thing that happened because his ego is so big that he will think that everything is about him. Shane came over one afternoon in April and I opened up and shared things that I've only shared with my closest of friends. He shared with me that he was an empath and that he could feel all of my pain. Because you're empathic. So an empath, I've heard that before. Yeah. It's essentially like we feel for other people. He said that James Charles was a monster with many victims. Yes, I knew that Shane was friends with Jeffrey and that they were working together, but I thought to myself, why would Shane Dawson, the king of truth on YouTube? To a sociopath, the world is a chess game. Yes. And all the pieces are people be turning against James Charles unless these things he was saying were true. He told me that something needed to be done to stop him from hurting more people. Shane Dawson didn't just know about my Bi Sister video. He offered to help edit it. He even offered to design the thumbnail and help title it. I declined his offer, but his gesture supported and reinforced for me that he was telling the truth. Why else would he jeopardize his career? So surely Jeffrey was telling the truth too. Keep in mind that up until this point, she Oh, of course. Is that another ad? Shane was watching Tati's video all the way up to this point too. But now we get to see his reaction since he decided to live stream on Instagram because apparently he was so flustered by what he was watching. Another ad. I'm losing my mind. Shane says he's losing his mind, yet his hand is not on his head like we would expect. It's instead around his vulnerable neck in soothing self-comfort and defensiveness. Also notice that his tonality is not confusion. It's fear, which is also indicated by his elevated heart rate and breathing rate. Shane is actually scared. He's not confused. I'm losing my mind. This is so f This is so now, hand on his forehead, along with his stress tonality, indicates severe discomfort and experiencing an internal struggle. Surely wondering what he should do about this. Oh my God. I now, mouth cover, along with his shocking tonality and other recently observed body language, indicates he can't believe that she's actually revealing all of this on him and Jeffrey, given what Tati suggested before about blackmail. The people that he is holding hostage with veiled threats of exposure. It could be that Shane is shocked that Tati is telling all, even though Shane and Jeffrey have blackmail on her, which they may have hoped would have kept her quiet. I, I okay. I'm live because I, I can't even process, I need a drink of water. I can't process this. This is insane. Now his lips are bunched up small, along with an intense stare and high breathing rate and walking fast, indicates feelings of anger and aggression that she's revealing everything on him. This is insane. This is insane. This woman is a f***ing, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to wait till as many people get in here as possible because I'm losing my mind. Keep playing it. Keep in mind, Shane is experiencing all these emotions cycling sporadically together. Defensiveness, not knowing what to do, anger and disbelief, which is why Shane is coming across like he's about to poop himself. This footage may be one of the most epic insights we have ever seen. Watching Shane Dawson's reaction live as he watches himself get exposed. I didn't even know I was making a video. So how is it that so many editorial outlets knew that something was coming before I had we even made a decision to channels. film? Oh my God. Tati is saying that happened before she even decided to film the video. Drama channels were reaching out to her, but Shane is saying that she reached out to them. Well, let's see what Tati said last year. Watch this. In full disclosure, I have spoken with two drama channels that reached out. That's right, the drama channels contacted her, not the other way around, like Shane is trying to make his Instagram live audience believe. Oh my God. I struggled with the decision oh to God. film my video for days. Yeah, Shane is still flipping out. But Tati just said again that she was struggling with the decision of whether or not she should film the video. And there's no signs of deceptive body language. The night before I did film, Jeffrey sent me what he claimed was an audio file from an alleged victim and told me to listen to the pain in their voice. The audio was clearly a small portion oh of a larger God. conversation. It wasn't enough for me to contact the authorities. It was enough to scare me. Well, then why would you make a video on the matter claiming these allegations? Because she is a f***ing 
I can't, I can't. I don't want to say mean things about people. Shane was either going to call her something derogatory or even call her a liar. But we've seen this time and time again from other subjects we've evaluated on this channel. When the accuser knows the accused is truthful, many times they don't call the accuser a liar, even when they have the opportunity. Are you saying you don't believe her? She's lying. That's a very difficult thing to um, answer. Basically, liars don't want to feel like an even bigger liar or a bad person and would feel like an even worse person by calling the truthful person a liar. This is insane. This is insane. This person literally, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. Keep pressing play. I need to get through this video so I can, oh my God. As a victim of abuse myself, Show I know God. how terrifying it is. You are so manipulative. Jane continues to flip out and even calls her manipulative because she talks about her past. But notice he doesn't call her a liar. It seems that he subconsciously knows that he can't call her that because he knows that she's truthful. To think of facing public humiliation you're fake, you're fake and legal proceedings. You are fake crying. You are fake crying. Do you think she's all of a sudden now fake crying? But he repeatedly is saying or implying she was fake crying five times. Watch again. To think of facing public humiliation you're fake, you're fake and legal proceedings. You are fake crying. You are fake crying. That is not real. There was a steady buildup of her emotions as she was talking about something that was very personal and traumatic that happened to her. If she was not at all emotional here, it would be suspect of deception. It would be incongruent body language. Shane seems to be trying to manipulate and convince his Instagram live audience to believe that it's all fake. Oh my God. It wasn't Shane has gone to full anger now, showing all his teeth and making that that grunting sound. But Shane is still not acting innocent of her claims. He seems angry that she turned on him when he thought that she would stay quiet because they had blackmail on her. If someone was saying lies about you, there would be anger. But while you have an audience there listening, a truthful person could not help but to say the truth and not just run around the living room saying, oh my God, out of breath. My place to contact authorities. Oh my God. It was not my place. Oh my I was molested. I have been on. Oh my gosh. Lost. Shane is malfunctioning. Did you notice he's babbling about himself while he just called Tati's tears fake when she went through a similar thing? Victim. That is not. And I made no mention of it in my video. Oh my god. Get off. The night before posting my video by sister. Oh my god. I texted Shane, sharing my concerns for James Charles, that he was out of the country on the high floor of a hotel and I was afraid for him hurting himself. As you just saw, Shane stopped the live stream when there was nothing else to say about Tati's accusations against him other than, oh my God, which of course seemed to be his reaction of getting caught and shocked that she decided to tell all in spite of the blackmail against her and scared of what the backlash will be for being exposed. Shane texted me back and said that I should not be nervous about the 50th floor, that James Charles was a narcissist and that he would never do that. Hi all, James here. Um, I'm currently traveling abroad and just woke up, but I wanted to sit down and make a video addressing everything that's going on right now. The day the video went up, Shane requested to come over to my home and film and document what was happening. I declined. After a few days of Jeffrey fanning the flames on Twitter, no victims appeared as they had stated would happen, and no evidence came forward as they stated would happen. The last time I spoke with either Jeffrey or Shane on the phone was the night before Jeffrey's never doing this again video. Now watch Shane talk about the allegations that he and Jeffrey Star were behind the James Charles Tati feud when he made his apology video a few days before Tati and see what you think. About two weeks of me getting people constantly saying, address it, address it, address it, talking about the James and Tati situation. I was just gonna ignore it. And then when I started hearing, oh, Shane mastermind the whole thing, it didn't sit well with me because it's not true. That's right, Shane did something sneaky. He amplified the allegations against himself and then denied those amplified allegations to make himself come across as more truthful. Tati is not saying that Shane masterminded the whole thing, but he worked with Jeffrey to get it done. And Shane's credibility as the voice of truth on YouTube made her feel that those exaggerated claims against James Charles were all true. But there's so much more here. 
watch again and see what else you can find. I was just gonna ignore it. And then when I started hearing, oh, Shane mastermind the whole thing, it didn't sit well with me because it's not true. Yes, Shane is subconsciously admitting significant involvement in the feud by saying it didn't sit well with him. His reaction to major allegations that he masterminded the whole big thing last year was, it didn't sit well with me. Shane mastermind the whole thing. It didn't sit well with me. Right, it sounds like Shane was significantly involved, just like Tati was saying throughout her entire video, which also seems to confirm that Shane was scared during his Instagram live reaction because Tati was exposing him and she was not lying. It's now my opinion that Jeffrey and Shane were both bitterly jealous of James Charles' success. Neither of them were happy with standing in his shadow on YouTube anymore. Keep in mind, there could be some things that Tati either omitted or remembers differently than Shane and Jeffrey. But overall, she believes what she's saying. Jeffrey and Shane needed James marginalized and out of the way for their November launch of the Conspiracy Palette along with Shane's merch. So it's disgusting that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson apparently manipulated Tati to go against her friend James Charles, seemingly so that they can become even wealthier when their makeup palette launched. Remember when Shane investigated Jake Paul to find out if he was a sociopath? They always just think they're better, bigger, more important than everybody else. The main two things that they usually want is power and money. Isn't that creepy? But maybe, just maybe, it was Shane Dawson all along. Because they don't care about how that affects other people. Because they don't care about themselves. Shane Dawson, you need help on many levels. Get some help. And maybe I should uh, just literally uh, go to therapy myself. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of trying to give therapy to YouTubers like I've been doing. Give this video a thumbs up if you think Shane Dawson was deeply involved in last year's takedown of James Charles. Give this video a thumbs down if you think Shane Dawson was not at all involved in last year's takedown of James Charles. Now in the comments, what do you think should happen to Shane Dawson, given all that has come out on him? Should he be kicked off YouTube? Should he be permanently demonetized? Should he be investigated by law enforcement? Should he go to therapy? Let everyone know in the comments below. Remember to hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out on new body language and investigative videos where we always seem to shake up YouTube. And I'll see you at the top.